Now you know you're a full-time RVer when you go to the bank to borrow some money and on the application it asks you length of residence and you answer 26 feet. Hello, RV and YouTube fans. Welcome to another edition of My Crazy Life, Living Full-Time in an RV. Now, today is quite a rainy day here in the Pacific Northwest, so I actually had to put my camera inside my RV and shoot outside where I have light. And uh, you can see with all the leaves back there, it's fall and winter's coming. But one of the things that keeps coming up that everybody talks about on uh, RV lifestyle questions and uh, how to go full time is how can you afford it? Now some of you are blessed with big pensions that have retired well that's great it's not an issue for you folks. Now the rest of us will have to earn some money as we travel. Um, now depending on what type of profession or skills you have some of that may just translate quite easily. You know, if you're a carpenter, maybe you can help other RVers do some remodeling or fixing things. If you're a mechanic or a heavy duty mechanic, you can also always find work helping others because RVs break down all the time. It's just the nature of the beast. Now, for the rest of us who don't have those type of traditional trade skills, there's always um, things like you can do with YouTube, like what I'm doing right now. I have several thousand people a day watch me and all the content I create and I create revenue from that through advertising dollars and you can too. Now you can just find a field of expertise that you're good at and maybe talk about it in front of the camera and help others and in the meantime help yourself. You could be a, a tiling expert, you could be uh, somebody that's good with hobbies, photography, whatever. Um, get in front of your camera, help others and maybe people will tune in and you can make some money from the ad revenue from that. Now, uh, some of my followers know that I, I shoot a lot of professional stock footage when I travel around the world, and I also have a little bit of extra revenue that creates a few thousand dollars a year in sales for me on top of my YouTube channel. That in exchange to a, a small pension, which I will be drawing soon, I'm actually still working full time, um, will, will help me, and I've, I planned this ahead so that I could actually take my work with me while I travel and I suggest you guys out there that want to go full-time do the same thing find something you like and something you're good at and bring it along on the road and you too can live full-time and have the money to do so in the meantime I'm gonna get back into my rig because it's soaking wet out here in the Pacific Northwest I hope to see you guys all next week thank you very much for watching keep your wheels on the ground stay safe